Good afternoon and welcome to a terrific Tuesday. We are here for our weekly read aloud. And as you can see, I'm not in my office today. I am at the world famous MATC. MATC is located downtown Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and it is one of the premier technical colleges in all of the United States. It's a great pathway to get you started on a four-year degree. And I have to say, I definitely encourage uh, those that are on the college path to check out MATC. So I am in the world famous Cooley Auditorium here at MATC, ready for our weekly read aloud. And it is still the holidays. So today, our story is called Santa Bruce. Now, if you notice, clause is crossed out. So we've got to figure out why is that clause crossed out there? Santa Bruce. And our author today is Ryan Higgins. Here we go. Bruce was a bear who did not like holidays. used to stay in bed all winter long and skip right through the whole business. But his family wanted to enjoy a cozy snow-filled Christmas together. This is going to be great Christmas. No migrating, no hibernating, just family. Honk. So Bruce was awake. Actually, bears don't hibernate. They spend the winter in a state of lethargy. Sigh. You're ruining the Christmas spirit. I thought we were spending the winter in the state of Maine. The geese had decked the halls. The mice made lots of eggnog. The holiday season was going to be filled with fun and cheer. Bruce did not like fun. Bruce did not like cheer. Bruce did not like fun or cheer. Bruce also did not like being cold which is why he started wearing long underwear and a warm hat. And then it happened again, a case of mistaken identity. Are you Santa? Bruce did not like mistaken identity. No, I am not, go away. Oh my gosh, I met Santa. Wait right here while I go get my friends. Wait, girl, I am not Santa. Bruce decided to ignore the problem until it went away. It did not. It got worse. Did I hear someone knock? Who could it be? We should let them in. No, don't open that door. I don't want all their dirty little feet in my... house and worse. Santa! So now he's got all the forest friends visiting him because they think he's Santa. Tell them I'm not Santa and worse. Everyone, listen up. Single file now, no pushing. Santa Bruce has time to see all of you. Who wants cocoa? <laughs> Soon word spread and all the little critters of the forest wanted to visit Santa Bruce. I want 99 red balloons for Christmas. For Christmas, I want world peace. To tell him what they wanted for Christmas. I want a race car. Mm. I have been very good this year. Can I please have a power compound mitter saw for Christmas? Fine. 
Finally, they all went home and Bruce could grumble in peace and quiet, but not for long. Knock, knock. Because all of the parents wanted to thank Bruce for his Christmas spirit. Bruce tried to tell them that he didn't have any. Bah humbug. <laughs> That's when Tinsel made an announcement. Bruce wants to say you're welcome. And what's more, Santa Bruce is going to deliver presents to all of your kids tonight. It's a Christmas miracle. Santa Bruce, however, does not look very happy. And with that, the parents left shouting out with glee. Bruce did not like glee. Finally, Bruce headed to bed. The mice had other ideas. But what about getting ready for your big night? Yeah, what about the children? Bruce put his foot down. I am having nothing to do with this. I will not deliver parent presents. Besides, you don't have a sleigh but the mice were persistent. Ta-da! Well, you don't have reindeer. So see how the mice, the mice found a sleigh for them. The geese were helpful. Fine, fine, there are no presents though. So we have a sleigh. The geese are our reindeers. Now we need some presents. And everyone was ready. By the way, what's in the boxes? Crackers. I'm still not going. Please, all you have to do is sit in the sled. We'll give you chocolate eggs. So, here Santa Bruce goes. Finally, the grumpy old bear agreed to be Santa Bruce for one night, and everyone was very happy. I think we have too much weight on this sled. Well, almost everyone. This is going to be the best Christmas ever. Hmm. <laughs> Santa Bruce still isn't happy. Being Santa Bruce was not an easy job. He even got a cookie that had soap in it. Uh-oh. And by the time Santa Bruce finally finished, the early morning light was creeping over a white Christmas. As all the critters of the forest awoke, they found presents waiting for them from Santa Bruce. Crackers! Bruce had spread the spirit of Christmas all over the forest and brought everyone happiness. Merry Christmas, Bruce! Bruce did not like happiness. He liked sleeping, but Bruce's bed would have to wait because now they're having a giant feast. I'm sleeping through next Christmas. Let's do this every year, honk. <laughs> the end. Santa Claus Bruce. So, something to think about during this holiday season. Bruce's animal family got everything ready for the holiday season filled with fun and cheer. What are some ways your family gets ready for the holiday season? So something to discuss. Whatever holiday you celebrate, how does your family get ready for that holiday? So it could be Christmas, it could be Hanukkah, or it could be Kwanzaa. How does your family get ready for the holidays? I do hope you have a wonderful 
wonderful holiday. Thank you again to MATC for allowing me to read today. Just us and books.